team took one on the chin over the weekend, facing first place Alabama State. The Tigers dropped the weekend series against the Hornets to remain in second place. Joining me now to discuss the weekend is Jackson State head coach Omar Johnson. And coach, I really appreciate you joining us this morning. Uh, just talk about how do you bounce back from this? Well, it, we. We, we have to turn. It's a quick turnaround now. Mm -hmm. We play on Wednesday, and then we have the series this weekend. And actually, this weekend it's a four-game series because mm -hmm. of the rainouts down at Alcorn. Mm -hmm. um, the weekend was a little rough. You know, I, I think we ended up we're 17 and 15 right now, but we have to make some adjustments. Mm -hmm. We, you know, the guys that that have opportunities to play, they, you know, they we we didn't do as well as we mm -hmm. we should have done. Mm -hmm. Um, but you got to give Alabama State some credit. They came out and they, they played well. They, um, every, they took advantage of every opportunity or every freebie we gave them, and we gave a lot of freebies wow. away this weekend. Wow. I mean, are they that, that good? They have a good team. Uh -huh. you, know, you know, I want to take anything away from the success that they've, they've had. Um, they, they were prepared. They had, a, 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 I guess, a greater sense of urgency than we did. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and and our, we have a, a young group, and they don't understand we've had so much success in the past that when these teams come in and definitely when they come to campus um they're 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 expecting to try to do right. whatever they can to, to beat us yeah i know do, do the players realize how everybody wants to beat jack state do they really realize now, i don't think they have the the total <laughs> and then you know all corn yes. you know but it, they don't I, right now and it's a learning process we have a bunch of sophomores that are playing key positions right. so the the some of the tradition and the rivalries they they don't quite get mm -hmm. yet now you talked about Alcorn. They, uh, I guess, kind of moved into uh, second place tie with you. They're, they're getting closer and closer to you. So how big of a weekend is this for you? Huge, huge. Uh, the the weekend actually, will, 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 you know, some of the, the 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 division, you know, how the games go along, um, it goes along with the seeding. Mm -hmm. So this weekend will be very important. Um, we're, we're still both of us, Alcorn, and and, and and we're three games back because of the rain out. Mm -hmm. So. The standings actually kind of go by the, the loss column, mm -hmm. so you know it, it's it's it'll figure it's, it'll work itself out somewhat this mm -hmm. week. And you know what really helped Alcorn was the fact that they played uh, Mississippi Valley, which is kind of uh, down in the standings, and they swept them. What uh, what's the mindset of your team right now? Well, we we need a good day of practice tomorrow. They have the day off, um, and we got to make some adjustments. Mm -hmm. You know that's 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 how it goes. This, it, that's why we play so many games in baseball. You play 56 games play 14 weeks to figure out what you're going to do in the tournament. Mm -hmm. And then, um, you know, the, the body of work kind of speaks for itself. But we have to make some adjustments, you know. We, and we've con it's, it's a constant series of, of adjustments. Was it, was it the fact that the, the team got into a little slump this weekend, or, you know, after playing so well before I, this? I, yeah, you know. No, the, the slump is the pitcher <laughs> you're facing, you know what I mean? Um, they still, you know, they, they were, I guess we were the best hitting team in, in, in the conference. And we didn't score our typical nine runs, mm -hmm. and you know it's it's a little comfort in when we're it's it's a comfort in being able to score that many runs. It allows you to make more mistakes, mm -hmm. and we didn't we didn't score our normal nine runs. Mm -hmm. Was it you know you, you were going into the Alabama State weekend? I know you were scoring a lot of runs. You know you, you were playing so so well. Did the team get a little bit overconfident? You think some of that? You know you, it, it's always and it, you, you're managing their confidence, but you you don't want them to. They have to have a sense of urgency when it comes to the opponent. You got to respect your opponent. Mm -hmm. um, and, but if, if we put the runs up, it allow it disguises some of the mistakes. And we've been making similar. We've talked. We've been making some of the same mistakes the entire year. Wow! And and this Friday you you go back to Biloxi. Yes. <laughs> that's that's your home away from home, in the coach. <laughs> <laughs> this weekend, I understand it's going to be well. This Friday night, it's going to be a really big crowd. Mm -hmm. They've been promoting it a lot down there. Um, so they're they're expecting about five to seven hundred at the game, so it should be a pretty good situation. Wow. And then you turn around on Saturday, come back for uh, to participate in Tiger Fest. We talked with Jesse Thompson about that a moment ago, and another big crowd that you're expecting. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, and, and actually on that Saturday it's a doubleheader, so instead of a three o'clock start, it'll be a one o'clock start mm -hmm. um, because of the makeup game that we missed down at Alcorn. Wow. And then turn around again on on Sunday. But we've been grinding some games out. We've played we played five games, five consecutive days. I think two times already this year, so they're pretty much used to that. You know, Coach, what's good about your team is that uh, following losses like this, you, you do a great job of getting this team to bounce back. You, you're looking to do that again this weekend? That's the plan. That's the plan. Um, it, it, if we pitch and swing the bats the way we have, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll be all right. How will the midweek game help you out? Oh, it, it'll be tremendous. We're trying to build some more confidence and just kind of get back in the rhythm. And uh, with, with your pitching, uh, did it, it took a little hit over the weekend. Are you concerned about that? 
Well, we gotta we gotta do a better job of getting ahead in counts. You know, we got a lot of bad counts. We put ourselves in some vulnerable situations. All right, Coach. Well, I really appreciate the, uh Anything else like to add this weekend? Big, big weekend. Come out this weekend. Uh, you know, <laughs> spring football game also. Spring football game is Tiger Fest. And again, the doubleheader is, uh, you said the time has been moved to 1 o'clock. 1 o'clock, yes. Okay, 1 o'clock with the doubleheader against Alcourt. And they've been kind of rolling. You've you been keeping your eye on them? Um, not yet. We'll get a scout report today. Okay. All right, Coach. Well, I really appreciate you coming out this morning. Appreciate it. All right. Stay with us more Metro Morning Live after the break.